Hi folks, in this session we're going to be looking at some basic numerical substitution. All right, I'm not going into hard out formulas, just keeping it really simple, just so you get an idea of how substitution works. Okay, so the situation here is we've got x equals to 3, and I'm going to put a whole lot of um, expressions and show you guys how to substitute and solve the answers. So the first one is, you know, if, if, if I have an expression 4x minus 2, and if x is equal to 3, what is this going to work out as? So I can actually say that I'm going to have 4, and obviously x is like 4 times x, so it's going to be 4 times 3 minus 2, which is 12 minus 2, and so in this case, this expression equals to 10. Next one, I've got 7x squared, so this is going to be 7 times 3 squared, um, and that's basically it. So we've got 7 times 3 squared is 9, so we're going to get 63. All right. It doesn't matter where the x is. All you're doing is just replacing x with the number itself. So in this case, I'm going to have 3 plus 2 divided by 2 times 3. So in this case, I'm going to have 3 plus 2, which is 5 divided by 6. So that's what my final answer is going to be. Okay, that's your basic kind of substitution. Now, what about having more than one variable? Okay, so let's see. If we have something like this here, we've got an equation that says y equals to mx plus c. And the question is, find y if m equals to 2, x equals to 3, and c equals negative 2. So all we're doing is we write the equation as it is. y equals to mx plus c. All right. And then we write y equals to m. What is m in this case? m is 2. So that's going to be 2. It's multiplied by x. So x in this case is 3. And then added with c. Now c in this case is negative 2. So when we do this, we've got 2 times 3, which is 6. 6 plus negative 2. And so the answer in this case, y is equal to 4 when all of those other numbers equal, well, other variables equal those various numbers. And so that's basically your basic uh, numerical substitution. It's just changing the letter or the variable with the appropriate value and just calculating it. All right, if you have any questions, pop it in the comments section, guys, and happy to help you out there. All right, thanks for watching.